Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be doing a video that includes my top five winter coats. This video is for someone who is starting out their winter coats collection and they're kind of unsure of what to buy first and you know what the essentials are for um, your outfit because I feel like a coat is such an important thing especially when you live in a colder environment. I feel like you can have such a really nice outfit on and then you know you could just wear a coat and it just doesn't go um, and it just kind of ruins the outfit in my opinion. So I think a coat for especially if you're living in a colder climate is so important because it kind of expresses your style it expresses who you are as a person because even style in itself is an expression so for me i think it's just very important because it puts the whole you know look together it's like a final touch to your whole look i'm going to be sharing some tips with you in this video things that can help you choose the right coat for you and which one you should probably start off from the beginning if you are looking to start your winter coat collection and have like a cohesive collection what i mean by that is you could just um you know pull this coat or that coat and it can go with multiple outfits if you know what i mean so all the coats kind of go together and are on the same um color palette so um i can't wait to get started so why don't we just get started with the video so the first coat that I'm going to be talking about. It's just your basic coat, okay? What's the one coat that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe is a black coat. I know it's boring or, you know, it's your comfort zone, but in reality, we all, we all, the first thing we gravitate towards in winter is just a black coat. I don't know what it is. I just think it's like human psychology or I don't know, but uh, I just think it looks so put together. I think it's the most basic item that I think every individual should have in their wardrobe. So this coat that I found is, is my best black coat that I've ever owned. It is from ASOS uh, and it's I think it's uh, the brand is called And Other Stories. Again, this coat is long, it has three buttons and it has a wrap. I, I've done a review of this coat, my full review on my um, ASOS haul. So I'll kind of link that up here too. Um, it'll probably pop up and if you want to watch an in-depth uh, review of this coat, just to give you a little bit more idea about the fit and how it looks but I'm just gonna give you a general overlook of this coat I think it has a wrap coat so it gives you kind of a structure especially in winter like I feel like we just wear such bulky clothes and I feel like I need to accentuate my waist or like have some sort of a shape and I feel like this coat does that it's not too bulky it's not too light I think it's just perfect I'm always going to be uh, gravitating towards long coats it's something I've always worn um, I just love long coats so if you have shorter legs like me I am 5'6 but like there's a lot of different clothes that I have to wear to like you know make my legs look longer so one of the things is I cannot wear coats that hit me around my thigh area I feel like it just makes me look shorter and my legs look shorter so I tend to stay away from coats that are you know above my knee unless they're cropped coats because I feel like cropped puffer jackets or anything like that um, or even in summer they have like those cropped jackets I think they look really nice anything that hits me around my thigh area I would I refuse to buy because I just think it makes me look really short so uh, all the coats you're going to see here are long coats actually there's one that hits me right underneath my knee so you might like that one too but um, again so if you have shorter legs and you want to look tall I would suggest going for a longer coat um, so this one is my essential I think black you really need because I think you could just throw this on with any outfit you could throw this on with a gray outfit black outfit white outfit it's just um, beige browns I feel like if you love neutrals I feel like or even if you don't love neutrals I feel like a black basic coat that fits you in the right places it's just something that's always going to be in style and you can never go wrong with a black coat so that's my first pick uh second pick so i'm just going to go down from like a central basis so what i mean by that is like what your requirements are like first would be a black coat and then once you have a black coat and you want to build your winter coat collection i'm going in that order so let's say you bought yourself a black coat already and you already have that in your closet what's the next coat you should buy if you have a neutral wardrobe um, and you're more into browns beige you know blacks creams like me um i would suggest buying yourself a really nice camel color coat okay classic 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 coat so um again mine i bought from max mara um you don't have to buy this one but um there's a really nice camel coat that i saw in aritzia 
the slouch coat. I have the slouch coat in brown. I'm actually going to be showing you that too. But um, that one is a really nice alternative to this one because um, that one just fits really nicely as well. But the only thing is that one doesn't have a wrap. So this my my Max Mara coat has a wrap again. Um, I want to give my body some structure. I want it to you know look like I have a body underneath the coat. So that's why I kind of went with the wrap coat. This is just a classic piece to own. Um, it's just so nice to have a camel color coat because I feel like if you're warm tone um, and you wear a lot of like creams, blacks, and browns, it's such a nice way to elevate an outfit. So if you're wearing like an all black outfit and you're wearing this coat, it just looks so beautiful. You can wear this with like a cream outfit and it just gives you a pop of, you know, color and um, it just looks really nice against your skin. So um, that's why I think having a camel color coat is so important. I mean, I bought this coat, you know, five years ago and it still looks so nice on it's just an investment piece so first you know buy a black coat and then kind of go on to your camel color I just think it's an essential kind of coat to have uh, this one hits me right up my knee it just looks really flattering on I mean I wish I would have got the longer version which I probably will later on <laughs> but I think um having a beige coat is so important because I feel like it's just another option to having a black coat because a black is just black but if you're feeling a little sassy and you want to you know do like an all beige outfit or um an all black outfit you can wear this you can wear this with all cream outfit i've worn this with like a cream dress obviously don't like the max mara coat i'll leave some suggestions uh down below i'll move on to my next coat so my next coat i suggest is buying a color that you wear the most okay so what i mean by that is let's say you wear a lot of gray okay and you have a lot of gray tones in your wardrobe i would suggest buying a gray coat but for me um i do wear gray but i don't wear that much gray like i'm more of a warm term warm tone person so i wear a lot of creams you know beiges taupes and um coffee colors and blacks uh, i do have a couple of like honestly I, I think i can count on my hand how many gray pieces i have i think i have like three or four gray pieces so that's why I didn't get a gray coat yet because I don't feel like I need to go buy a gray coat because I don't have enough outfits to wear with that coat so I would suggest your third color to be whatever neutral you're drawn to that you wear the most so if you wear a lot of gray get a gray coat but I wear a lot of cream so I picked up a brown coat because I think for me I wanted something that I can wear uh, you know with my beige outfits my black outfits. That's not really beige or black I wanted a third color that I felt uh, that was neutral enough for me to wear kind of Every day and not get dirty. I feel like the black you could wear every day the beige I would wear like on special occasions or um even every day, if you want to, you can. There, there's no stopping uh, that, but the Max Mara coat is really not an everyday coat. It's mostly like if you're going out somewhere nice or whatever it is. But the third coat, I wanted an everyday coat, a color that I'm very drawn to, that I wear all the time. So I picked up the brown coat because I think it just goes with so many outfits that I already have. Um, and I feel like it's just a, such a versatile fit piece. <laughs> versatile piece. So I actually bought this coat in a size one and i did a haul video um and i'll link it up, up above here somewhere and i bought it in a size one and that didn't really fit me that well and the sleeves were too short for being five six the size one did not fit me so i ordered a size two and i got this one i am so happy because it actually fits me so um it fits me really nice around the sleeves it's kind of oversized but it's kind of narrow so it stays really close to your body um and it just fits really nice. It's just a very nice everyday coat um, to have in your wardrobe. And the color, oh God, I'm obsessed with the color. Why wouldn't I be obsessed with this color? It's just such a nice rich brown. Um, and I'm really glad that I got this coat because it's something different than your average black and beige coat, I feel like. And I just love the style of it. So actually so the max mara coat and the beige coat if you're looking for a camel color coat this also comes in a very nice camel color so uh check that out if you're looking for um you know a beige coat and you want you don't want a wrap coat and you want like an oversized coat i would highly 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 recommend the slouch coat i love 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 the quality i love the way it fits um it's really long so it kind of is close to my ankles six inches above my ankles 
and I just love the way it fits and the color is just to die for like it's not too light it's not too dark it's just right in the it just hits perfectly it's perfect chocolate brown um, and yeah I love this coat so that's my third recommendation is a color that you wear all the time so you definitely can use a camel a black again third color that you wear all the time um, especially if you're a cooler tone you can also go with like a, a taupe color instead of a rich brown color um, you can also do a gray do not buy a coat you know you can't wear a lot of outfits with a lot of a lot of a lot can't talk a lot of outfits with I made a mistake with is um, I you know I went to a store and I'm like oh my god this coat's so nice it's so unique and then you never wear it but I am very conscious about what I'm buying so if I can't wear it more than five ways, I will not buy it. So uh, just like the gray coat, I didn't want to buy it because I didn't feel like it's something that I gravitate towards, you know, especially in winters. So yeah, or, you know, a charcoal coat would be really nice. Actually, I am looking into buying a charcoal coat. I feel like that's something I would love because it's just uh, one of those coats that I feel like I really, really want. Um, and Other Stories has like this double-breasted charcoal coat and it's like kind of oversized and it goes up to your ankles oh my gosh i'm in love 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 with that coat i feel like i could i want to buy it this year but i'm not going to i'm gonna save and uh, probably buy it next year around black friday sale because on black friday they have really good deals for ant stories and other stories so i'm probably gonna do that or i'll probably do it like end of summer sale or something like that so um that's another tip i'll tell you is buy coats on sale so I never buy coats that are not on sale. This coat I got on sale, the slouch coat. Um, I got the ASOS coat on Black Friday sale. I got my mango coat that I'm going to be showing you also on sale. So try to buy things on sale. Anyways, I'm going to go on to my next item. Next coat that I'm obsessed with that I recommend is having some sort of a, like a light color coat. If your style is off-white, go for an off-white coat. Go for a cream coat, which I went for. Or you can go for a really light gray coat, like a very light gray that's almost white. So if you're a cooler tone, probably go for that color because I think it just looks so beautiful on, especially if you have like really nice blue eyes or green eyes. I think that color really looks um, nice. But I think if you are a warmer tone like me, I would probably suggest like a creamier, um, almost like a beige color like this color it looks really nice on or even a white coat if you want to again i'm not a fan of white coats i mean i just think it gets too dirty for me i feel like it's too much work for me to even put in even though i love white i just think it's too much work for me cream i can you can get away with because even if it looks kind of dirty you can get away with it like this is a very like a dirty color I meaning not a dirty color i mean like like you can get this dirty and get away with it and you won't even know because it's kind of like a creamy dirty color okay so um i recommend a lighter coat so i would highly recommend this i love this coat from mango it is really long it has a tie um i think it looks really nice with my cream outfits my black outfits um just think it's a really good addition um to your wardrobe so if you're wearing like all black dress you have this on i think it looks really nice you can wear this casually with jeans you can dress it up you can dress it down i just think it's essential coat to have like i would go from black to almost this spectrum again you want to stay like if you've noticed with all the coats that i bought i've kind of stayed with my warm tones they're all kind of like in the beigey black kind of tone because then it's just easier for you to build a wardrobe um your goal is to have a wardrobe that you can just pull pieces from and you don't have to think you know what i mean i think when you have to think about an outfit um you have to reorganize your closet usually now I just pull things and they kind of just go together because I stayed within the same color family. So if you want me to do a video about how to build like a neutral closet, let me know. I think that would be really interesting because um, I did that with my closet and it just really helped me save a lot of time and effort. And it also look, just looks really nice. So let me know. Anyways, I'm just blabbing on too much, okay? I, I just had too much coffee today, that's why. But uh, again, anyways, go back to the cream coat. I just think it looks really nice. You need something in your closet that's really light. Uh, again, I go for all long coats. It's up to you. I just think it looks really flattering on. Um, I try to go for coats that have wraps, but I also like oversized coats. So two of my coats are oversized, three of my coats are wrapped. But I like the option of, you know, having a wrap because then it just makes you look like I have a body and I feel a little bit sassy. Uh, but um, yeah, having a cream coat, I just think it's essential. Uh, not right away, but I think as you're building your closet throughout the years, um, 
invest in a cream coat at some point of your life or light gray coat or something you know that's off-white or like a lighter or like a cooler tone taupe color almost very very light i just think it's a really nice addition to your closet and i think you'll get a lot of use out of it um i'll go on to my last coat which is the most sassiest coat ever that we're going to be talking about is a plaid coat okay and i i decided to buy a plaid coat because i think it's something that i needed in my closet i mean i have all solid colors and i wanted to go for something that has a little bit of a pattern a little bit of oomph to my outfits um something that i you know can pop on when i'm feeling a little jaja um so <laughs> i could be really funny you know um yeah i am funny most people don't think i'm funny but anyways off topic um I think the plaid coat is really nice um so go for like a little pattern you know i've seen you know coats that have what are those things like twill tweed yes yes tweed so you can go for like a tweed coat you can go for like a plaid coat you can go for checkered um so go for a pattern coat because i feel like it's just something that you know elevates your outfit like especially if you're wearing like an all cream outfit and you're wearing like a houndstooth pattern or a plaid pattern i just think it looks so cute um and it just helps you break up your outfit a little bit. Uh, again, I would not go for big patterns. I honestly stay away from big patterns uh, because I think it just is too distracting. So my tip for buying a pattern coat is go along with small prints, something that's very small. Because when you buy small prints, it makes you look you know smaller uh i feel like when you buy bigger prints it just becomes overwhelming and i think it just becomes too distracting so i stay away from that so uh tweed is very small like you'll just see a little bit of knitting everywhere so i would go with that i would go with plaid um obviously this one is really nice uh it's like kind of like hidden plaid i would say but it's really really nice coat um, I, Mango has another coat in this in a black and white pattern, I think. So I'll link that down below. I also have that coat. So if, if you want an in-depth review of this brown coat, I'll also link my Mango video here and you can um, see the full review. But this is one of my favorite coats because it's really oversized. It's long again. It doesn't have a wrap, but I just think it looks really nice. It has these drop shoulders. Got in a size small. And I loved it so much that I also got it in a black and white. I also will link that video up here. It's, I love the crossover between masculine and feminine in this coat because it's very like uh, structured. It's very masculine, but it also looks very like uh, girly. I just love the cross of this coat. Uh, I think it's a brilliant coat. So that's all the coats I had for you today. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions uh, of videos you want me to do or if you have uh, any feedback from me. I love to hear from you and let me know in the comment below what your favorite coat was and your thoughts and I hope you guys have a really good week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!